Do you know? Do you? Do you know that today is Tuesday? A one of a kind Tuesday. The first ever Tuesday, the 23rd of May, 2023. And the very ever last Tuesday, the 23rd of May, 2023. As you step out today, how would you, how will you invest in this day for eternity? I pray that you will step out in style, knowing who is leading you in this day, especially as you take a teaspoon of your daily dosage of one a day that will build up your immune system and make this a one of a kind Tuesday and kick start your day. So yesterday when I went out on my run, I went by a piece of sponge that was in, yep, a bit of sponge that was in the road, just maybe to the side of the road, but it was not on the pavement. So, you know, as I consider the, as I consider the sponge, sponge have got the tendency that when you put water on the sponge, it absorb the water. The more water you put on the sponge, it absorb, and not only does it absorb the water, but it expand as well so that it is able to hold as much as possible. And to get rid of that water, you have to wring that sponge. But you know, the Holy Spirit started speaking to me. Did you know that children are like sponge? They watch everything that we do and say, and they're absorbing it and they become who you train them to be. Let's pray. Lord, you're so beautiful to us. We went to our bed last night and because of your love, your mercy and your grace, you have blessed us with a brand new day. There is no one in the hearing of my voice who deserve this day. But Lord, you still allow this day to come to us. And Lord, we're so grateful unto you. Father, as you have invested this day in our lives, I pray that you will give us the wisdom, especially parents, that they will grow up their children in the way that they should go. Because Lord, a lot of times, parents, they have their children and from their young, instead of starting the training ground there, when they do little things, they're never corrected. And these children, as young as they are, they're absorbing, absorbing. When they become older, as they grow, they start to rebel. And a lot of parents wonder, where did this child come from? But it's the things that parents do and say that is actually shaping that child. Lord, I pray today that you will first give me the wisdom to speak what you would have me to speak and that you will help parents to know that they are stewards of the children that you have loaned unto them. Give parents the wisdom that they need God to grow up their children. Even you who love us, you chasten. And there is nobody, no parents can love their children more than how you love that child or how you love us. Therefore, dear Lord, parents has got the whole responsibility to train up that child so that they will absorb the things that are good and they will become transformed and become the best adult that they can be because of the training ground and because of the way that their parents grow them up. Father, a lot of children, a lot of parents today, or a lot of people in general, talk about how rebellious the children are now and complain about them. But the children are not to be blamed. It's the way that parents grow up children, the time invested, 
the 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 the, the kind of discipline or the rod that is used that is different to what it used to be and contrary to the word of god and as a result of that this is a product that we have today father i pray that parents will know the big responsibility that they have with being parents lord so equip us as we deal with children as we grow up children lord that we will know that not just the rod is the rod but we are the rod for them because they watch they absorb especially the things that they shouldn't do they copy and they become so lord there are a lot of parents today after listening to this word will have to go into prayer and fasting and ask for strength and wisdom pray over their kids lay hands upon them and repent too of what they have done that has shaped their kids even at a young age where they start rebelling in their behavior and it's because of the training ground lord give parents wisdom there's so many things happening around that takes up time of parenting and 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 make parents too busy to be the parents that to be a better parent than they have been so lord let this word speak and let your counsel preside as you oh god put the words in my mouth to speak and may the holy spirit do a great work through this word in jesus name and i thank you and praise you lord in jesus name amen so like i said in my prayer children become what they see in parents they absorb in the environment that they are in from there in the womb a lot of times and a lot of parents out there listening to me right now when they are young even when they're just they're just born and you you fed them and they start screaming down the place they want more and you do everything that you can to appease them you don't realize that even in so doing these children are absorbing because as they grow up they they continue to when they want something and they can't get it they cry and they do all sorts of different things until parents relent and give to them because kids absorb so let's look at a few scripture in the word of god and see what god has to say about children so in hebrews 12 and verse 6 you know this one where it says i'm not starting with the obvious one i'll go to this one first lord please bless the reading and hearing of your word hebrews 12 and verse 6 says for whom the lord loveth he chasteneth proverbs 3 and verse 12 for whom the lord loveth he correcteth so parents have got a responsibility to correct their children when they do things you know we have this saying that you need to bend the tree from its young you don't wait until when it get too tall and that's when you're trying to bend it because it's going to break your back and it's going to bring a lot of pain and struggle so from the tree is young from that child even from the child is in the womb they are absorbing and we have a responsibility to train them a lot of a lot of parents have got children today that they cannot talk to anymore they become rebellious because when they were young and they needed that rod of correction it was not there so they absorb and they take in and they become who you who parents made them to become and that is why we have the children that we have in society today and a lot of people are saying we we criticize the children about how they are but it's the parents that is where it's coming from the commitment that is needed is no longer there and it's not always a, I mean situation in life as well make it so difficult for parents to be at home to have that time and commitment so when a child is crying they put them in front of the television so that they're able to go off and do what they need to do today is not even so much a television give them an ipod or something and they will sit and they will be quiet and play games 
But then those are the kind of children that we will get coming out in society. What you put in, you never correct. When, when they say little things, even from their young, and you giggle and think that it's cute, you don't realize that the child is absorbing and he, he or she is becoming, because you never corrected that child. And because you never correct, that child never learn so that the right behavior is formed in that child because we think that they're too young. You know, even sometimes there is a time when, let's look at this one in the scripture first, before I come to that point. Proverbs 22 and verse six, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. We also have in Proverbs 13 and verse 24. So a lot of parents love their children so much that they miss this one. He that spareth the rod hateth his son. Did somebody hear that? He that's, and this is Proverbs 13, 24, if you want to check it. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him. Proverbs 23 and verse 13. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beateth him with the rod, he shall not die. He shall not die. Proverbs 29 and verse 15. The rod and the reproof give wisdom. Did you hear that? Rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Children are watching what we do. The rod is not only, a lot of people now, a lot of children today are time or children. How is that? Is that working out for your child? You know, there is a time when the rod has to come out. And when I say the rod, I'm not saying that you're going to abuse your child. But there is a time when you've spoken and there is, you're not getting a response, then you have to use the rod. And can I just say this? The rod is not only you smacking that child. You are the rod. How, what do I mean that you are the rod? The life that you live, the example that you are, you are the rod of correction to that child. So you're saying to them that they need to have their morning worship. You're not having yours. You're saying to them that they should go to church and they must be respectful, but they are seeing you gossiping about other people in church. They are following your example. They are absorbing what you're saying to them, what you are doing, because your action is the rod that is correcting the child as well. So when as parents, you fail to be that example, you fail to train up the child that from the child is young. And now you are walking and telling everyone, you're, you, you are putting a curse on the child by saying how rebellious, how rude they are and disrespectful. But what role did you play in that? Now, if you think about it really honest, honestly, as a parent, how much have you in, invested in making sure that your child was corrected from young. You were consistent. Both parents were together in terms of the rod of discipline that is used in different situations. God is saying, God is going to hold us accountable for the children that are out there. You know, normally I remember as a child growing up, we would go to school and when it's holiday, we would play school. And those trees were the students and we would write. And just as the teacher would speak to us and would beat us when we don't do anything, that is what we would do with the tree. We would talk and beat and we will say the very same thing. God is saying to us, he has given us his children as responsibility. We've got to train them up the right way. We need to love them and correct them. We cannot love them more than God. Everything they ask for, we give it to them to appease them. No wonder they have 
become a stu- um, a set of children today that have the spirit of entitlement because they never learn to wait they never learn and understand no even god who loves us not everything that we pray for we get it yet we give our children everything and we never teach them in the way that they should go i heard this pastor said one time that he would go home and sit on the porch and he never even thought about it so one day his daughter came out and sat and said "Ah." so he said to his daughter tough day at school today and she said no so he said so why did you make that noise because you always do it when you sit on the chair that's what the daughter said he never realized that his daughter was actually absorbing his action so it is with us our children they're absorbing our action you know again last one another time is going i heard the story of this mother she never disciplined her only child he never knew boundary so he end up in prison for a life sentence now when you're in prison you have a lot of time to reflect right there was this particular day when the mother went to visit the child and the mother and the child said come closer let me tell you something and when the mom went closer the child bit almost bit off her ears because he reflected and realized that the reason why he's there was because his mom did not set boundary gave him everything and that is what landed him where he is god is saying to us kids are sponge they absorb you never teach a baby how to talk but they talk they hear you talk and they speak the same language that is spoken in your house they try to walk they try to creep because they are sponge they watch what you do and they model you so i pray today parents even if you're listening to this and you're seeing the spirit of rebellion in your child it's not too late get into prayer start correcting and start being the example that you want that child to be so may god bless you today as you enter into this day in jesus name amen